I can hear you now, Ashraf. Yeah. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I got a confirmation. So apologize for that. Uh, I'm so sorry. It was a uh, unbearable situation uh, where we I was not able to uh, connect. For my side, it looks good. Good. All all good. But uh, seems like for you guys, you are not able to hear it. So uh, apologies, apologies for the times. Uh, we are starting a little bit late for 15 minutes, but yeah. Nevertheless, uh, we're going to continue. Thank you so much, guys, for joining today. My name is Ashraf Mujawar. I'm a pre-sales engineer from Reddington Gulf. Uh, 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 pretty much thanks to our marketing team for arranging this sessions. Uh, this, this, the whole agenda is, uh, is to go with the... Uh, 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 you know, uh, giving a knowledge transfer about our current technologies and the product which we are currently working on, and definitely uh, it would be uh, uh, it would be pleasure to work with you guys on the opportunities. Uh, since we are from the distribution side, we do manage the multiple technologies. One of the key technologies is something what we manage is called CrowdStrike, and this is what exactly we are going to cover today. Uh, we have pretty much done a lot of sessions in the past. But uh, uh, what we are trying to focus today is to uh, go with uh, 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 a specific product called CrowdStrike. And we are going to go with the demonstration part of it. We have already covered CrowdStrike as a platform overview. You can go to our YouTube channel on Reddington Gulf. And then you can see those videos uh, to understand more about the CrowdStrike. I'm going to take you to the journey of how the CrowdStrike or the Falcon platform looks like today. Okay, so before that, let's quickly uh, uh, jump through the uh, quick overview of a CrowdStrike as a whole solution. So uh, in a CrowdStrike, we are uh, concentrating or uh, one of the primary aim for a CrowdStrike is to stop the breaches. That is what exactly we are concentrating. And uh, some of the key points which we cover from a stopping breaches perspective is we provide four areas of a protection. One is an endpoint protection, so securing your endpoint from all the latest uh, kind of attacks, uh, different kind of malware. Uh, we also provide the intelligence of how the what are the techniques being used and what are the tactics being used in uh, by those specific uh, attackers, hackers, or the malware. And of course, we also have a services as a platform which we are providing. <clears throat> Uh, 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 CrowdStrike is completely a cloud-delivered endpoint protection. Some of the unique points for the CrowdStrike, which you you might have seen in, from our other presentation, is we are the lightest uh, uh, agent or the sensors available in the market. We basically collect the information, or I would say, a metadata, okay, information about a data from the multiple sources. Uh, whatever sensors are running in all over the world, we basically try to collect the metadata so that we will be able to train our, uh, our technology, our engines very well in order to perform the better in a detection side. In the in the span of a very uh, in in the in in a very less span of time, uh, we are able to reach to almost 176 countries. So CrowdStrike is all, uh, officially launched in 2012-13. Uh, okay. Uh, since then, uh, we are there in the market, and if you see our market presence, we are actually, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, claimed to be a leaders in the multiple market research organizations like a Gartner, Forrester, EDCs, and all. Some of the quick benefits: we provide a better protections. How do we do that? We use all the latest technologies or uh, latest uh, mechanisms like uh, machine learning. Uh, artificial intelligence and the behavioral analytics in order to do the detection. Our solution is completely a cloud delivered, so there is no on-premise. Uh, 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 there's no on-premise uh, agent which needs to be installed. There's no on-premise management needs to be done. Everything is managed from the cloud console, and you need to only have the sensors which is running on 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 the endpoints. Yeah, so this way we provide a better value, and of course uh, we maintain the better performance because. We are the, we're having the lightest available agent in the market. Okay, so these are come up some of the key points which we basically cover uh, uh, from from CrowdStrike. Yes, we provide a power of one. Why we say that? Because with the help of a single agent or single sensor, we are able to uh, 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 implement a multiple technologies 
uh, 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 multiple securities we will we will be able to provide to that specific endpoint okay so we basically uh, uh, having uh, having said that we 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 have a platform with the name of falcon okay then the in with the falcon platform we basically provide you the multiple features and the multiple capabilities to prevent your endpoints okay so one of the important parameter or one of the important component of, uh, uh, we provide you is the endpoint security in the endpoint security we try to cover whatever uh, 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 the organization needs today one would be definitely a next generation antivirus in order to prevent from all kind of latest uh, malware and the ransomware and the different kind of uh, 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 attacks which is like exploitations or uh, 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 spyware or whatever it is which we're talking about that's a next generation antivirus we also have uh, a solution which is a edr solution okay which which basically with the help of a single agent only we'll be able to collect all the uh, uh, information about about the detection which is happening inside an organization and it will be able to uh, show you that specific detections uh, uh, we also have a device control as a part of a solution itself. Apart from that, we also have a SecOps, which is security operations, where we provide you a threat hunting platform, uh, uh, IT hygiene, and the vulnerability management part of it. So this is also will be managed from a single agent itself. And apart from that, we also have the threat intelligence in order to get a better visibility of the attacks. We have a threat intel. We can have a malware search, and we also have a sandboxing platform available. So this was a quick overview about the product. I, as I mentioned, we will be more talking about on the uh, product uh, view and product lookout for it. So I'm going, going to quickly jump on uh, to my uh, uh, screen, you know, uh, uh, in order to show you how the console basically looks like. So this is what exactly a dashboard of a Falcon uh, uh, platform looks like. So uh, when you log in, of course, you we, you can. You can register using your company's official email addresses, and then you can have the two-factor authentication enabled in order to log into the console itself. And uh, the next point would be how to, uh, 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 you know, how to make sure that I'll I'll be protecting my endpoints. For that, definitely you would need a sensors. So uh, uh, we will going to uh, go through that process as well. How exactly you're going to navigate through and install the sensor, and how do you enable the policy? What kind of feature we support from this? yeah but uh, uh, just before that let's understand what is basically dashboard is trying to tell us first of all it's telling you uh, your current uh, crowd strike score based on the detection which is happening in the past uh, it also tells you what are the new detections uh, uh, the, the crowd strike has detected in, in your organization this is basically after the investigation uh, investigating all the uh, uh, you know with whenever any kind of detection is detected on a specific specific computer specific machines they will automatically report it to this the detection section we also showing you the sha based detections information and uh, also the computer which has been prevented from last seven days from a certain kind of attacks uh, uh, there are there are again some information about the recent detections what is been happening uh, we also give you the information about the detection by different tactics being used you know uh, technol uh, te uh, technologies being used in order to do this this kind of uh, uh, attack on computers. So you can see a good graphical view. They you will be going to get from a dashboard. How to see is uh, 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 how do we basically add the specific computers or specific uh, uh, endpoints to this? Uh, uh, you know, make make a part of the CrowdStrike solution. That's a very simple again. You will you will you will go to the falcon symbol on top if i go back here you will see the falcon symbol on top when you go to the falcon symbol you just have to take a cursor automatically the pop-up window will be open you can just navigate through the uh, different different options like we have activity where different kind of activities which is happening on a network you'll, you'll be able to see it from here you can do the investigation that's the edr capabilities this is a host management this is a configuration management this is a different dashboard management this is a discovery, which is basically your IT uh, hygiene capability, the feature which you have seen in the presentation. Uh, this is basically your uh, vulnerability management called Spotlight. And of course, we have the other part of it, which basically goes with your malware searching, your threat intelligence, and of course, uh, uh, a management of a users. You also have a CrowdStrike store in order to download any kind of features. Uh, and of course, a couple of supported tools like a documentations and all, okay? 
So uh, uh, let's say I want to I want to onboard a specific uh, uh, you know a device to it. I just I can just go back to the host. I can click on the sensor downloads. It takes me to the sensor downloads page, and from this sensor download page, I will be able to download whatever the agents uh, uh, we want we want uh, from uh, you know uh, uh, from that. So we support multiple types of operating system. One is a Windows, Macintosh, Ubuntu. Uh, uh, Linux, everything like Linux, different different flavors. We, we do support from that, including the Amazon Linux servers as well. You know, so you just click on download. You get the file. You just double click the file. You and then you will be able to install the sensor. So it's as simple as that. The sensor installation is uh, is very very simple. So once the sensor install in, uh, installation is done, you can go to the dashboard. Okay, you can go to the dashboard, and in the dashboard you will be able to see. The entire history of how many machines are currently online, how many machines are workstation, how many machines are servers from that, how many machines are currently uh, offline in last last one hour, and uh, and uh, in, and gradually going offline from last last uh, last specific hours. If if you if a specific machine which you happen to find out is basically uh, installed recently with the new sensors and all, you will be able to see those numbers as well. Yeah, and if, and in fact you can. You can actually get get a lot of information about your detail, detail information about your each and every platform as well. So uh, once you do that, uh, of course, uh, you will have to create a policies. We can have a multiple policies created. We can have a policies created, uh, which is a prevention policy, which is basically help you to uh, prevent from different kind of attacks, right? We can also create a policy based on the uh, uh, firewall, so we support uh, uh, controlling the local firewalls, you know, it's a firewall policy management. Of course, we can also do that as well. Uh, uh, we also have a device control policy we can configure from here. And of course, we have a multiple policy which you can configure from it, like a sensor update policies and the containment policies and the response and the res uh, response policies. In multiple way you can have the exceptions, exclusions, which you can create it for the specific devices as well, right? So that's what we basically do from the configuration. If you go to the prevention policies, if you want to quickly have a look at it, what exactly the policies looks like. First of all, it's very simple. It's just a click and you will be able to configure it. So, uh, and even it's divided in a very good way. So you have the Windows policy separate, you have a Macintosh policy separate, and of course you also have a Linux policy separate, yeah? So uh, if you go to the Windows policies, you can always go and find out your Windows policies like, like if I go to the specific policy called I, I can find out what are the features are currently enabled, right? So we have a we we have we we have support different kind of uh, detection uh, prevention uh, techniques being used. So basically, we prevent you from uh, uh, certain kind of uh, exploitations, exploit mitigations. We give the security with a ransomware. We we also do the detection based on the exploitation behavioral analytics. We also do the detection for the lateral movement and the credential access as well. We also have, we also do the detection based on the multiple techniques, which is basically the machine learning. So uh, we also have a cloud-based machine learning. So uh, one of the part uh, of with the metadata, it will be get analyzed over a cloud-based machine learning. And in case of machine is offline, we also have the sensor-based machine learning, which basically helps you to do even when the machine goes offline, not communicate communicating to the cloud. Still, based on the machine learning capabilities, we will be able to block the attack which is happening on that specific machine. Okay, so that's something which we can easily work on it. We can just have to click on the toggle buttons. As soon as you click on the toggle buttons like this, it gets basically enabled that specific policy. You just go ahead and save that. Just click on the confirm button and the policy will be automatically updated to it, right? Once you do that, you, it's, it's easier to assign to the host. You can just go to the assign host. Yeah, I'm going to say leave, just say confirm. So here you will come back to the assigned host and you can create a group and you can say, okay, I have a 16 machine in that specific group. I want to assign this policy to that specific group. You can do that always. So that's the prevention policy. Let's have a quickly look at one of the example of how uh, how exactly it looks like and how the how how do we analyze a specific kind of uh, detection? So I'm going to go back to the activity dashboard where which I'm going to see the recent detections are actually a 46. So uh, I have one sample test machine. Okay, this is what exactly the machine learning, and I just check the status of that specific machine, which says 
my CrowdStrike agent is currently running. So if I just go back to Mark, I said so the CrowdStrike status is currently running. So my CrowdStrike is absolutely fine running with that. What I'm going to do is I have a couple of sample scripts. Uh, it's basically the uh, uh, script based attacks which basically which we are going to just run right now and see where uh, how how do we how does it block and how how we're gonna uh, 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 how we're gonna analyze that specific attack okay so uh, let me just open the word file Script. Okay, so I have one script which basically I'm going to run it over a command prompt, and this is basically uh, going to do some uh, uh, some entries in the registries, right? So uh, that's I'm going to run onto my victim machine. So I'm going to run the uh, I'm going to open the command prompt. You know, this basically happens. The attackers try to use the uh, elevated prompts in order to run the specific scripts. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna type that script, and as soon as I see so as I run it, you see the Falcon sensor is detected that the malicious activity is basically blocked. Uh, and then we also get a message saying that the access has been denied. Okay. So this way, basically, if any kind of script which is uh, executing, which is a malicious, claim to be a malicious, Falcon, Falcon uh, basically automatically come into the action and it will basically blocks, blocks that specific script, script space attack as well. Let's, let's analyze what exactly happened behind the scenes. So as you can see, Right now, it says uh, there are 47 detections which has been done. I can I can actually go to the C uh, to now all the detections. So after 46, I have the new detection which auto, which immediately reported to the console since my com console is co co communicating to that specific machine. And I can see uh, there is one a new attack which is on September 14, 431, which is which is exactly the time today which is happening, which is running on the victim PC. This is the actually my victim PC. So uh, if I just go to the host name, it says a victim PC. That's the that's the machine which basically w w uh, the attack was executed, and uh, they say it's a it's a very high critical attack, and uh, the technique being used behind the scenes is credential access for the credential dumping. Okay, so uh, if you click on that specific attack, you should be able to get more detailed visibility of an attack. Like what other processes are basically involved. What is the action has been taken? What is the severity? What was the objective of the specific of attack? What is the tactics and the technique been used uh, behind behind the scenes by the specific attack? And what is exactly was trying to do with a description saying that a process appears to be launching the Mimikatz. Mimikatz is actually a very popular tool, uh, who's basically a password dumping utility actually, whose uh, who's, who's hell, who's primary uh, purpose is to stealing the passwords, you know, by by dumping the credentials, right? So if this kind of attack was successful, you know, we know it's not successful, but if it is successful, what you have to do quickly do it, you have to change your uh, uh, passwords immediately, okay, in order to prevent from this kind of attack happen in the future. The similar way, uh, it basically tells me a more information about the associated IOCs on, on what basis basically this detection has been done. Uh, uh, it also says which are the files was getting involved. Uh, basically, involves it's a registry.exe in system 32, which is the file which basically blocks it. If I go to the right, uh, the uh, the right side of the screen, you will be able to see the more in detail information about a uh, time, what is going detected, what was the process which was executed, what was the command, what was actually executed behind the scenes, right? Exactly the whole command. What was the path it was trying to reach? and what time the command has been started, attack has been started, and what time the attack is end, and what was the duration, current duration of it. So it's basically the the, the attack, the specific attack is terminated. So we are absolutely uh, make ourselves a safe. We, we can say that registry.exe. Then uh, <clears throat> we'll, we also have the detail of what, which, which, which user is currently locked into that specific machine when this attack happened, okay? What was the logon name, the logon domain, which is basically connected. This is, looks like a work group, work group machine. 
and then the host name, like what is the public IP address and the private IP address configured with the MAC addresses configured for that specific machines. And also it tells you what are the vulnerabilities has been find out since we also have the vulnerability management module already enabled. So it basically telling you the information about what are the vulnerable products. If you click on that, you will be able to get that, that information as well. So uh, even it also tells you what are the disk operation was, was happened by this specific kind of attack. In fact, if you go to the full detection detail, you should be able to get more in-depth in detail information about uh, what, are, what is basically this attack was trying to do. After the command from the command.exe, you can see there are two specific commands like a hostname.exe what has been executed and there's a registry.exe which is basically the, the process which one used to execute a certain kind of exploit using the Mimikat which has been blocked, okay? So do we know that we are we are prevented, but you know, tomorrow something goes wrong and basically you you all, you all started getting a lot of attack, you know, a lot of uh, detection from a specific machine. And you think that the specific, there's a specific person uh, the, who's basically performing a specific attack using this specific machine. And uh, in, in that specific scenario, if you wish to, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, isolate that specific machine from a network. You want to make sure that this machine should not be able to communicate to any other machine so that if there is an attacker in a machine and trying to do the lateral movement, I want to stop that lateral movement. In this case, what you can do, you can always put the, that specific machine in a network containment zone. What, what this network containment will do it is as soon as this machine puts it in the containment zone, it machine will automatically machine the specific machine will automatically stop communicating to all his other machines in the same network okay so the machine will automatically stop communicating and it will also stop communicating to the internet okay there is no communication to the internet only the communication will be established is from our uh, 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 that specific machine that specific victim machine or target machine to the CrowdStrike portal, okay? So only that communication will be enabled, rest all the machines, all the communication will be chopped off, okay? So it will not be available at all. So once we see that, we can always have a capability of connecting to that specific host, which we can do from the remediation perspective. Let's say uh, I, I want to log in and I want to see what this basically, what is happening with that specific machine. So I can literally take a console uh, of that specific machine and I can I can find out what is what is wrong happening with that specific machine, right? For example, if any kind of malicious processes are running on that specific machine, I can easily find out by running a small command or uh, using using the same console itself. So as soon as we see it's it's basically connecting to a machine, we you should see that these are the different commands we will be able to run on that specific machine. So if I just say PS, okay, uh, which basically, you know, uh, uh, process, uh, process, display the process information, I can literally find out what is the process, processes are currently running on that specific machine right now. So these are the processes to come up, you know, even though, even though my machine is running somewhere in the, uh, 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 you know, my data center in Dubai, you know, and I'm actually logging from the web console and I'm able to do the console to that specific machine, even though it's a Windows machine. I basically find out what are the, which are the, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, services are currently running on. I can choose that specific service post numbers and I can just use the command call kill in order to make sure that that specific process ID gets killed. And if, if the machine is basically infected or any, any kind of processes, malicious processes are running, I can, I can immediately kill them. That's basically the remediation of our real-time response capability, what we provide uh, from that. Of course, uh, you have a capability of navigating to this and basically find out more about what is happening behind the attack scenes. So uh, uh, yeah, apart from that, we do a lot of other things. We do the application discovery. That's basically you can do from the uh, uh, discover, uh, uh, discover uh, 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 feature, or I would say uh, IT hygiene feature, which, which uh, which uh, uh, CrowdStrike uh, provides as a part of a certain bundles who has a requirement for it. It basically does the auto discovery of an applications running on the specific machines. And it also checks uh, whether those machines are vulnerable for a specific kind of attacks or not. And basically it tells you the visibility that what is the current asset inventory look like and whether the applications running are currently vulnerable or not vulnerable for that. 
similar way we can also do the discovery for the uh, vulnerabilities exist on that specific machine based on the cve uh, uh, based on the cv databases we'll be able to analyze and find it okay there are uh, 2731 uh, critical vulnerabilities find out more than 12500 uh, high vulnerability find outs and the mediums and the lower vulnerabilities basically found it right now okay yeah and of course if you go do more navigation if you go more uh, deep dive, you should be able to uh, uh, you should be able to you know uh, uh, get more information about it. Yeah. Apart from that, yeah, uh, uh, we can we can also do the uh, user management. And if you wish to add a multiple users with a different role and responsibilities, you can do that. And we can also add or remove, or we can we can uh, if you wish to do any kind of API level integrations or any can any kind of integration with the other technologies. You can always look get get a help from the Crowd Strike Store as well, and uh, from the support we provide all the documentations and all the information like the API clients, a certain kind of tools, the portal supports and the docs. All these informations are available on a click. You can just click on the specific information like a docs, and then you will have the entire information about how to basically configure, how to how to uh, install a sensor, how to set up the policies. How to integrate with 2FA solutions and how to work with the different features as well. Okay, so it's a very straightforward solution. Okay, uh, uh, if you if you wishes to uh, see the more deep dive session, uh, uh, we are more than happy to provide that. Uh, 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 that's that's uh, conclude uh, my session for today. I just wanted to give you the little bit overview about QA uh, the CrowdStrike. If you have any any specific question you can always type it in a QA. if not yeah you can always uh, write back to me on my email address if you if you have any specific queries okay guys i don't see any questions so uh, uh, that 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 means uh, we are good for today guys thank you so much for your time uh, 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 if, if you guys have any question just write back to me uh, till then please be safe and uh, Keep learning.